Hey everyone, welcome back to another nail art tutorial on my channel. Today is sort of going to be a Halloween nail art tutorial because we're going to incorporate some stamping spider webs into this nail design, but you could easily adapt this design for any time of year and it doesn't have to be specifically Halloween related because I'm going to show you a really easy way to get a super fun smoky nail design. I cannot wait to show you guys this because this is my favorite technique that I've done in a really long time. We're going to throw in some Swarovski crystals to break up some of the coloring and our design will be completely Complete. Let me show you how we did it. This particular client came in with about six different photos that she had found on Pinterest, kind of with the same type of theme and different elements that she wanted to be included into her nail design. So she gave me free reign to include whatever I wanted as long as it was a similar color palette and some of the different features that she was really interested in. So after we filed down her nails and prepped them and they were all ready to go, we're gonna go in with some of our clear base from Fusion. This is just going to uh, prep the nails for any of the gels that we're going to embed on them. The black gel that I'm gonna use for this nail design is Light Elegance's Black Tie. You guys see this color in any tutorial that I do whenever I do black because it is hands down my favorite black color gel that I've personally used. We're gonna put this all over her middle finger as well as her pinky finger. The red that I'm gonna use for this color design is Light Elegance's Santa Says. It's this beautiful red with a really nice fine shimmer to it. One of the new reds in the recent Light Elegance collection would work perfect too. And I'm gonna put this all over her pointer finger. After I put this color on, I realized that I wanted a little bit more black elements to this nail design because I knew I was gonna be putting some red on top of it. So I decided to go back in on her ring finger and also add some more of that black tie as well. I knew that I wanted to do two smoky nails, so I decided to do the black on her thumb as well. This is kind of how I work. Like I kind of have a few different nails that I know for sure what they're gonna be, and as I'm kind of designing the set in my mind and I can see the finished result, that's when I'll go back in and switch some other colors up, which is why I didn't do the black tie all at once. I will take the original posts in the description box below that we are taking inspiration from. So on this particular nail design, I wanted to incorporate some of that red foil. So I'm gonna use this red leaf foil that I actually picked up for some Christmas sets that I had in mind. And when my client showed me that picture, I was like, this will work perfect. So if you're working with any of these type of leaf foils, they are a very interesting nail art product to work with because they just attract so much to anything sticky or anything actually kind of wet too. So the dispersion layer of your gel works perfect to just kind of drop this in. At first I tried using a dotting tool and I didn't really like how that was working. So I'm using the Selena Red and Block Brush, which is a really small kind of flat brush and it worked absolutely perfect to get that leaf on the nail. On her middle fingers, I wanted to try and recreate this diamond type of look from this original post that she had sent me. So I'm gonna take some of these glitters that I picked up at Michael's and these are so old. I don't even know if they sell them there anymore. The only problem with these are is that they're super, super small little diamonds. So this took forever to apply and also position properly. As you guys can see when all is said and done here, it's not gonna be perfectly lined up. I just didn't have any of the bigger, or bigger uh, glitters in my collection. So I thought that I would do my best to make this work. Um, on this middle finger, I didn't love how it came together because it wasn't super even. On the other middle finger, which you guys are gonna see when I apply Swarovski crystals to it, um, I'm definitely able to make it a little bit more even and I felt like when I did the crystals on top of it, I was able to get a better pattern. But all I'm doing is singly placing every single glitter strand here. This was kind of a pain in the butt, I'm not gonna lie. But the end result was worth it. So when I'm first going in, I did apply a thin layer of some SL Clearer just to get something for the, um, I keep wanting to say crystals, glitters to stick to. And then when these were applied where I want them, I am gonna cure it. That is the nice thing about working with gel when you're gonna do something like this is you can play around with it until you have it the way that you want it to look. On the nails that I want to be the smoky look, which is her pinky finger and her thumb finger, I'm gonna take some of the Apre alcohol inks in white, and I'm just gonna do some squiggle lines, but make sure that you're pushing really, like not hard on your brush, but you're just trying to spread the bristles so that it gives you like a really thick line. And I just wanted to layer these up, which is why I decided to do these first when I'm embedding it. I didn't like how pigmented and bright that they were, so I decided to just take some of the blending fluid and try and blend that out a little bit. But I 
did find that I was blending out too much on top of the gel. I did remove the dispersion layer. I didn't say that either, but I did. <laughs> um, so I was blending out too much. I wasn't kind of loving how it looked, which is okay because I knew that this was going to be a layering process. So after the finished file nail, we're going to go back in again and we're going to thicken this up and brighten this up a little bit, but I did want a little bit of it built in so it gives it some dimension. After I had this all kind of sheared out a little bit, I decided to go in with a really thin coat of some black gel mixed with some clear and then this way it would look like it was a little bit see-through on the nail and that the smoky effect was kind of embedded deep into the nail. My next step on all of the nails is to embed them using some of my SL Clear from Fusion. After the nails are all finished filed, I'm going to go in with some stamping. So my client did want these to look a little bit Halloweenish, which is why we decided to use this spiderweb stamp. This spiderweb stamp is the girly spiderweb stamp from Clear Jelly Stamper. So it's got some little swirls in it, which I thought would tie nice with all the glam that we were kind of going for with this particular nail design. Spiderwebs and spiders are a really great way to make the nails look Halloweenish, but carry them also through to November if your clients have to wear them a little bit past Halloween. For the smoky nails, I'm gonna take some of the Apre blending fluid and just put it in this little container. So that way, as I'm going through and doing my different layering, I can dip into it if I want to. So at first, I decided to go in with just some of the white and do kind of a shaking motion just to make it look smoky, uneven, um, kind of messy is what I was going for. I did one layer, let it dry. As you guys can see, I'm leaving this in real time here, just sped up a little bit, but uh, so that you can see that I'm going back and forth between each of the nails. So by the time I get to the pinky on her second hand, the pinky on her first hand is all nice and dry. And I'm just trying to build up a little bit of that color, but it wasn't the smoky look that I was going for. So I decided to take some of that blending fluid to see if I could blend it out a little bit more. And that is one thing about the white is I do find it a little bit tricky to blend this particular color out, but it's okay because I'm going to show you guys how to make this work. Now the way to get some of that white to look a little bit more sheer is I am pretty aggressively just scrubbing that blending fluid into the nails. And this did work, but I don't wanna lose all of the white and I do want it to have a little bit more dimension. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the pigment black, which is super, super pigmented from the Apre Art Inks. And I'm just gonna do one line right across it. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna break up a little bit of that white that we have going on. But because these are alcohol inks, it's still a little bit sheer and you can see see some of that white kind of popping through. Then I'm gonna go in with some white over top of it and do a little bit more dimension. What you guys are seeing here is you're seeing me playing around until I get the look that I'm going for. Now this was my favorite part of it though. I decided to go in with some of that blending fluid again and just kind of bleed everything together and I was loving how this looked. Like I barely would just drop a little bit on there and it would kind of just seep together and we'd get some gray dimension, we'd get some of that white popping back, we'd get some of these like veinings in it. But if you go in while that blending fluid is still wet and drop some of your pigment black into it, that's where you're gonna get a lot of dimension. Move your client's nails around a little bit more, just see what the alcohol inks want to do. This turned out to be my absolute favorite thumb. I loved how when it was wet and the black art ink just kind of seeped into it, it just totally looked smoky, it gave it some veining. I absolutely loved how this came together. And then when I went back in with some white, it brought in some more of that dimension. I seriously could have played with this forever, but this was the best way to get that smoky effect is to work with the uh, Art Ink blending fluid super wet. I found that that is what really worked well for it. And the veins that kind of popped out in this particular nail, I was seriously in love with. So as you guys can see, initially I wasn't too sure how I was going to get this smoky effect by just building different layers up and playing around with the art inks, playing around with the different products that I had. I was able to achieve a really easy smoky effect. And now I can show you guys what I would do differently next time, which is just work with it super wet and just let the art inks do whatever they want. This client does love her Swarovski crystals and to add a little bit of a pop to those smoky nails as well as tying some more of that red to the nails 
We decided to use Siam, which is a beautiful red Swarovski crystal. I use this a ton at Christmas time as well. And some of these kind of metallic pearls. Now these metallic pearls, Swarovski crystals that I got, I actually got them from Michaels. And sometimes they go on sale for a really good price there. And that's usually when I'll stock up on some of these pearl ones. Now this particular nail, I didn't love how it came together when all was said and done. But her other middle finger, I really liked the idea of doing the crystals just on a slanted diagonal across the nails with the big ones in the center. I thought that worked really nice in combination with those diamond type of glitters that we had already applied on her nails. Our last step is to apply our top gloss. Now my client did want one of the smoky nails on each hand to be matte. So on the ones that had the really, really good veining, like her thumbnail, we decided to do glossy. And then on the opposite ones, we decided to have matte. So one of her thumbs is glossy, one is matte, one of her pinkies is glossy, and one of her pinkies are matte. And that's how the nail design came together. Now for the most part, my clients don't typically bring in pictures for me to kind of recreate. I have zero problems if they do though. I think it's a huge compliment when other nail techs take inspiration from my nail designs. And I love following other nail techs and seeing what they're doing and also recreating them. I do my best to tag whatever pictures I am following in the description box below on my YouTube videos or on Instagram to give them a shout out because I definitely took huge inspiration for this nail design from a bunch of different pictures and I truly love how the design design came together. I hope that it helped you guys if you were struggling with how to create a really easy smoky nail design. I absolutely love this technique and cannot wait to try it again. Make sure you're following me on all of my social media and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!